Okay, just a couple of things that uh, I'd like to mention first of all. Uh, we've just seen the inflation figures, of course, for the March quarter, up 4.5%. That's really going to stretch so many people uh, who are low and middle income earners. It will not be compensated for by the tax cuts. Uh, those on high incomes, of course, will be fine. But it's interesting to see where the inflation has hit. It's hit on necessities that cannot be avoided by people on low and middle incomes. And it's hit most particularly on education. The costs uh, in the last year for early childhood education up 12%. That is directly the consequence of government actions. And the inflation at the level that it is now, uh, yes, partly influenced by international commodity prices, but also critically influenced by the rise in GST. This will put families under pressure. This is not a lifestyle choice, as John Key has said, for people. These are basic necessities. Secondly, I'd like to foreshadow a speech that I'm giving uh, this afternoon in Christchurch to the, uh, to the uh, Manufacturers and Exporters Association. I'll be focused particularly on what I see as a looming crisis and skill shortage. Uh, we know that the amount of building work in this country will double in the next 12 to 18 months, and that will require double the number of people uh, who have those skills. At the moment, those building trades are going backwards. Apprenticeship intakes are down by 30%, skill training almost halved. And yet we will see, over the next 12 to 18 months, a critical shortage that will slow the recovery in Christchurch and will also force up prices. The cost of rebuilding Christchurch will be much higher because of